Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, my video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be on all the items that I currently have for sale on my Instagram page. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below my Instagram name. Um, and all the prices and things will be on there because I don't exactly remember everything off the top of my head. And if I sound a little quiet or hoarse, I just want to apologize. I am still sick. And so my voice kind of sounds weird. At least in my head it sounds weird, so I don't know. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have three handbags to show you uh, that I have up for sale. I think it's three. Um, the first one is from Philip Lim. It is a medium Pashley, and it is in this beautiful military green color with the dark gunmetal hardware. You can wear it handheld like so. Or you have a shoulder or crossbody strap. It is adjustable and you can remove it too. So this is what the bag looks like. It is the beautiful shark embossed leather so it's super super durable. The latch is just right here like so and when you open it up it looks like that. You have one slip pocket. I never used it just because I didn't want to stretch it out. And the whole interior is like a black um, nylon. I don't, I don't really know what this is. Polyester or something. I don't know. Something. And you can, right now, see, you guys can see, you can unzip the zipper. So I have this one unzipped and it folds out even bigger. Or you can keep them zipped up for a more structured shape. So... That is the first bag, and that does come with its dust bag. The second one is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30. Uh, this bag was purchased in 2012. And again, just the monogram. The patina is, uh, is a nice, even color, except for the handles. Like most Speedies, it's darker right here where you hold the bag the most. Um, it has the brushed or the uh, gold tone hardware that does need a cleaning. It's a little bit dirty. And this one is made in the USA. The canvas itself is in really good shape except for there's one spot and I tried looking for it before. Oh, there it is. There's one little tiny microscopic crack in the canvas um, right here in the where the stitching is. So that's about it. Uh, it doesn't have it, the puffy little tabs here because it is uh, older. The inside is in great condition. The only thing is, where is it? Hopefully you guys can see it, but right here there's that strip of leather. There's like one little darker spot there where something must have, you know, rubbed on it. Um, oh, and then I did want to mention that I was caught in the rain with this bag, so there is slight water spots. They're not, like, super noticeable, like, oh, water, but it kind of has a little bit of, like, some spots are darker for the patina and some are lighter. But I have um, more detailed pictures on all of these items. If you are interested, just email me and I can send them to you. The next bag I have... Sorry, I have all my stuff right here. It's from Rebecca Minkoff. And this is the Avery bag. I'm not sure the size, if it's the large or not, but this is pretty much brand new. I used it one time. Bought it from Nordstrom. It is this really pretty uh, pale sage color with the light gold tone hardware, which I really love. Uh, let's see. So it features this little front pocket here. Which you could fit, I don't have my cell phone, but you could probably fit a phone in there. Otherwise, you have this top section, and it, there's a little slip pocket in there. Hopefully you guys can see that. This actually holds a lot. I was super duper surprised at how much this held. Like, let me grab a wallet. So this wallet's kind of like bulky. You guys can see it's in there and there's a ton more room so and this is like their Safiano leather so it's super durable none of the hardware has scratching again you guys I wore this one time so okay so the second thing I or the next thing I have for sale I should say is a Fendi makeup bag so it comes in this dust bag here and it looks like so it is super super flexible as you guys can see I can like 
fold it up and do whatever with it. It has the pretty gold hardware. On the inside, it's this really nice wipeable material. It says Fendi on this side and then it has the little coat on this side. But it looks, it, it reminds me a lot of the um, PM round cosmetic case from Louis Vuitton. So if I, there, I kind of puffed it up for you guys. That's pretty much what it looks like. Alrighty. And this does come with the, I have it in here somewhere, the authenticity card too. I don't have the receipt. This is from 2007. All right, so next let's get on with wallets. The first one I have for sale is this little guy here. This is from Tory Burch. It's this really pretty blush tone pink color. And on the inside, it's the same. It just has the little logo all over it. Um, it's in pebbled leather, which is really nice. And it has the gold hardware and then the darker colored piping. And the inside looks like so. You have a little key ring. I just keep it tucked in. And then you have two little slip pockets here. And because of the leather, this really stretches out nice and you can hit, uh, fit a lot of stuff in it. I only use this a handful of times. I think I think actually only twice. So there's no wear to it um, to mention. It's just, it's a really good little wallet. I like it. It's very similar in size to the... Um, Zippy Queen Purse, I think, from Louis Vuitton, the mini one. Uh, but there's that. The next one is my Kate Spade Stacy wallet. This is in this really pretty burgundy color in Safiano leather. So it's the burgundy on the outside as well as the inside, except for in here and in the pockets, the lining, is the black and white polka dot, which is really nice. It holds a bunch of cards. It's super easy to close. I love how you can just open it and there's everything. And then the back pocket looks like so, and that is your coin pocket. So that is the Kate Spade Stacy Wallet. The next item I have is this coach wallet and it is in this really pretty floral stitching. It's really cool. It's a different material um, and then it has all gold accents. So when you open it up, you have a little pocket here with a purple lining and then open it up again and you have all of these spaces for cards, um, for money. It's super handy. There's a lot of room in this wallet. And the back has a little pull tab with a zip pocket and that has the purple lining for coins. As you guys can see, I'm getting all rid of a lot of my big wallets just because I don't really use big wallets anymore. So next one is from Coach as well and I'm not sure the style of this one, but it's just their canvas and then it has um, a brown bar through both sides. It has a little Coach emblem. Um, thing here and the pull tab and it zips around and it opens like so. This opens so far you guys, look at that. You can fit so much in here. The interior is in great, great condition and it has the little stripes here. It does have a coin slot and I did use it for coins so it is a little bit dirty but the rest is in great condition with no scratches. So there is that one. And let's see, then I am selling a Chanel piece. So oh, this is the box, it comes with a box. Uh, it does not have the receipt um, because I bought this a few years ago and I've misplaced it since. But here's the authenticity card. It is a 20 series. I have the little care booklet that it comes with. The dust bag with the tag does have the Nordstrom receipt on here so they can always look it up but I don't have the actual paper receipt. And I am selling my Chanel uh, card holder in black caviar with the gold tone hardware. This is virtually new, like I barely ever used this. It's a great little um, thing but I'm just like, it's a little too small for me but a big wallet's a little too big. I'm kind of like in the middle so... 
I just, I haven't picked this up for probably a year or so, so I feel like it's time for um, this little guy to move on. But it is in great condition, and you guys probably won't be able to tell, but the slip pockets aren't stretched out, the corners are great, the only wear it has is on the gold hardware, there's um, little minor scratches, just from like normal use of putting it in a bag or whatever, so. But there is that piece. Alright, and that's it for wallets. I am selling a little wristlet, looks like so, it's from Coach, it's from before, I, I want to say 2005 or 2006, so it is older. I just thought it was really unique with the different stitching it has on both sides. It's in great condition, there's no wear. The leather has patinaed a little bit, so, um, but I think it's nice. On the inside, I really liked this though, the strap. It has a bunch of little uh, brassy brads all over, I guess you could say. And then you have the little coach thing here. And when you open it up, it looks like so. It's just brown. And there is let's see, a slip pocket in there. Hopefully you guys can see. And then you are able to remove this. And then you could put it on here if you want to carry it like so. Alrighty. So that is everything wallet-wise. Uh, the first one is a fragrance. And it is from Jo Malone. I bought this um, in the summertime last year. I didn't get a lot of wear out of it. I used it, like I wore it one time, I sprayed it three times, wore it once, and I just really didn't like the smell um, with my, like, you know, your own scent and like how it mixes and it changes for everyone. Um, it just wasn't my favorite. I, I never reached for it or anything. Um, it's really pretty. Oh, and I should probably tell you guys what it is. It is Nashi Blossom, which is Pear Blossom. Um, it's a limited edition, so it has the cool black and white uh, polka dots with the green cap. And it does come with a box in the bag if you're interested. So that is the only perfume I'm selling. Um, let's do shoes next. I am selling a pair, these are Fry Sandals, and they're in that really cool kind of um, raffia material, um, but they're still really comfortable. These have been worn once, you guys can see, and they're a size 6, but I'll kind of show you how it looks. So, like that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Alrighty. And then I'm selling these Kate Spade little platforms. They look like so. And they have a little ankle strap there, as you guys can see. Um, these have been worn a few more times. The only wear that this shows, though, is on the bottom from walking. Otherwise, the suede is in great condition. There's no scuffs or anything. Uh, same with the platform itself, like on the sides here, there's no sign of wear. So that would be these. And that is it for shoes. Next, I have two jewelry pieces to share with you. The first one is from Henry Bendel, and it comes in this cute little bag here. It has the tag inside, and this is what I'm selling. It's this cute little bracelet with these turquoise beads. It has a little, um, hopefully you guys can see, this little plate here that says Henry Bendel New York. And then it has this one that says Henry Bendel with a flower. And then around the whole bracelet, there's little these little gold ones that have rhinestones in them as well. So this is what it looks like. It's just really pretty and perfect for summer. Um, and again, this comes with the dust bag and the tag is inside there. And the last piece of jewelry and the last item I have to show you guys is from Chanel. And it comes in this cute little uh, box here. Whoop. Um, I bought this from my boutique in my Nordstrom, so I didn't get the whole package. But um, this is a ribbon that they wrapped it in, so I just included it as well. Uh, let's see. I have the receipt and the little tag here with the item number and the price. 
And then the item I am selling comes in this little dust bag. Ugh, so many flaps. Oh my goodness, hold on you guys. Okay, and it is my necklace. So this is the Imperial Strauss necklace. I think it's from the 2000... 15 fall collection or maybe yeah I think it was the 2015 fall or 2016 oh my gosh I don't know but um it has little black and clear crystals all over it's not missing any stones it is in perfect condition I just I've worn it maybe a handful of times I really am not a jewelry person I find like I like earrings but as far as necklaces I just I didn't find myself reaching for it so I figure I should give it to a good home so that is my little Chanel necklace um, that is everything that I have for sale um, actually I have a few more items on my page if you guys want to check out my Instagram but um, so this is everything and then plus whatever's on my Instagram so again my Instagram is the purse addicts closet that's my sale page um, my just my YouTube page, I guess, is the thepurseaddict.sam. Again, I'll put these down in the description bar. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to email me. It's the thepurseaddict.sam at gmail.com, which again will be in the description bar. So if you have any questions, please ask them. Um, I am willing to ship within the U.S., PayPal only. Um, if you're from somewhere else, I can ship it, but it'll probably, you'll have to pay for shipping. So the prices on the Instagram pretty much all include um, shipping. So anyway, like I said, if you have any questions, just feel free to ask, and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. And I will see you later this week with another video. Bye!